Hello, I'm Kenneth Clark, President and CEO of the Pritzker Military Museum and Library. Welcome to the official announcement of the 2014 Pritzker Military Museum and Library Literature Award for Lifetime Achievement in Military Writing. Open to the public and featuring an extensive collection of books, artifacts, and rotating exhibits covering many eras and branches of the military, the Museum and Library is a nonpartisan, non-government information center supported by its members and donors. Founded in 2003 by Colonel Jennifer N. Pritzker Retired, it has become a center where citizens and citizen soldiers alike come together to learn about military history and the role of the armed forces in today's society. The Pritzker Military Literature Award recognizes and honors the contributions of a living author for a body of work dedicated to enriching the understanding of military history. The award is sponsored by the Twani Foundation and includes a citation, medallion, and a $100,000 honorarium. Each year, the Museum and Library presents the Literature Award at its annual Liberty Gala. This year marks our 11th anniversary, and the gala will be held on November 8, 2014 in Chicago. And now, to announce this year's winner, the 2013 Literature Award recipient, novelist Tim O'Brien. Hello, I'm Tim O'Brien, the 2013 recipient of the Pritzker Military Museum and Library Literature Award for Lifetime Achievement in Military Writing. Today I have the honor of announcing this year's Literature Award recipient. For more than three decades, he has distinguished himself as one of the world's finest writers and military historians. Drawing on exhaustive research, he has authored defining works on some of the most important events in our collective experience. So it is my great pleasure and privilege to announce that the 2014 recipient of the Pritzker Literature Award is Anthony Beaver. Following his education at Britain's Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst, Anthony Beaver served as a regular officer with the British Army. When he left the Army five years later, it was to write, and he became the sixth generation of his family to be published since 1832. He has authored four novels and 10 works of nonfiction. His best-selling Stalingrad, first published in 1998, won the first Samuel Johnson Prize, the Wolfson Prize for History, and the Hawthorne Prize for Literature. And 2009's D-Day, The Battle for Normandy, became a number one bestseller in seven countries, including the UK and France. His books, the most recent of which is entitled The Second World War, have sold more than six million copies in 30 languages. In addition to the awards by the governments of France and Estonia, Antony was elected a fellow of the Royal Society of Literature. He has served as visiting professor at the University of London's Burbeck College and at the University of Kent, and was the Lees Knowles lecturer at Cambridge in 2002 and 2003. His life's work as an author, historian, and educator has contributed so much to the scholarship and public knowledge of military history. And for that, we, the Selection Committee, feel he is a most deserving recipient of the Pritzker Military Museum and Library Literature Award for Lifetime Achievement in Military Writing. Winning this award means a huge amount. I think that the reputation of the prize, both internationally and of course in the United States, uh, is a huge boost to one's self-confidence and uh, gives one tremendous determination to keep going. It is mm, above all, I think, important uh, and significant in the way that the prize is constructed, that there should be a selection committee of past winners who are all great writers of military history themselves. I think that my military experience has certainly influenced the way that I write and I think I'm sure that's true of all former soldiers. What has actually changed I think over the years is that in the past uh, the writers of military history always tended to be retired officers, often say staff officers, who were trying to impose in retrospect a form of order on the battlefield which never really existed. But I was able to take, I think, from my military experience, which was in tanks in Germany uh, during the Cold War, at least the 
uh, understanding and the experience of the relationship between soldiers, soldiers and NCOs and their officers. I love my time with the regiment, with the 11th Hussars. Uh, they were a remarkable collection and uh, I think of them often, especially when I'm writing about the Second World War and the battles that they were involved in themselves. The military historian has uh, a great duty to do in the way of being able to convey understanding uh, to those who have no idea, no experience of war, of what it's like to have no control of your own fate. And I think that this duty, uh, because it is a duty as well as, a, uh, as an, an interest, a calling, whatever you want to call, name it, um, is a very, very important one. If the people in the future are going to understand the wars of the present and above all of the past. Congratulations to Anthony Beaver, 2014 recipient of the Pritzker Military Museum and Library Literature Award for Lifetime Achievement in Military Writing. Thank you to Tuani Foundation for sponsoring this award and to the 2014 Awards Screening Committee for its recommendation. The Screening Committee is chaired by John Rowe and includes past Literature Award recipients Rick Atkinson, Carlo Deste, Max Hastings, and Tim O'Brien, as well as author Carl Melantas and Chicago History Museum President Gary Johnson. The final selection was made by an Executive Council chaired by Colonel Jennifer N. Pritzker and composed of board members from Tuani Foundation and the Pritzker Military Museum and Library. To learn more about the Pritzker Literature Award or about the museum and library's collection, exhibits, and programming, please visit pritzkermilitary.org.